Hey everyone, this is Tristan with Cedar Ridge Campers. Behind me is one of our Vega teardrop campers. I'm gonna show you around. Um, so let's start here on the back. We got our galley all opened up. Um, one thing what really sets us apart um, from a lot of the other manufacturers is we have all of our stove and our sink, they slide out the side. Um, instead of having them um, in the galley, uh, we found that when you have it sliding out the galley, it just gets you a long ways away from the countertop. And then this way it also, your stove and the sink uh, make a, they can make a pretty good mess, you know, if you're frying up bacon, um, different things like that. So it's nice to have it all outside of your galley, um, not making a mess inside. Now we also do offer the, the 230 um, 270, so that covers your slide outs really nicely, um, your stove and your sink, and then part of your countertop. Down here on the stove sink combo, we also have a cutlery drawer, so keep your cutlery um, nice and handy there. One other thing we do also offer on the stove sink combo is a cutting board, um, which you could replace the, the sink uh, with. That way you can have a little extra counter space there on the side. Moving along back here, um, we have large cabinetry. They're about 14 inches deep and about 20 inches wide, so you can put pretty much any cast iron skillets, um, anything like that in there. We are running the Red Arc Red Vision uh, with the manager 30 in our trailers, so we have uh, that controls all of your lights, um, your your water pump, everything. You can hook that up to your phone as well via Bluetooth and run all of your electronics through that. Behind the license plate is your water fill, and that has about a 23 gallon water tank. Uh, we also on the water system we run the Truma Combi, so then you have a water heater built into the trailer, as well as the Truma Combi is a furnace as well, which can heat the interior. Coming around to the driver's side here, we have our pantry drawer. This is just a large deep drawer um, with some dividers in it that you can you can just store. We call it our pantry drawer, that's what we often use it for, but pretty much any type of gear um, you can fit in there. Coming down the side of the trailer a little bit farther here, we got our outdoor shower. And we were running the European style shower connector, so it has the mixer, everything built right into it. Um, it's it's nice to have this connection or this shower built into the trailer. It's not a box hanging off the side or anything what's going to get caught on the trail while you're driving down down some tight trails. Stand on fenders, all steel. We got the 265-75 R16, actually, excuse me, 265-70 R17. All terrain, um, wheels and tires on the trailers. Also got leveling jacks um, in the back come standard on all of our Vega XTs. Along with a heavy duty um, rock sliders, you can actually use these rock sliders. They're all welded into the chassis um, there's, so that you can actually use them um, when you're going down the trail. Another thing with the chassis, we run all of our, our wiring and hoses up inside the chassis. That way there's nothing underneath to get ever snagged up on the trail if you're dragging over rocks. We got custom Arctic Turn doors. These are custom built for us that have screens and a shade built right into them. And also a large window, this is an awning style window, so you can open it up and have it open while you're raining. Um, so you can get that ventilation even while you're raining, or even while it's raining. Moving along front here, we got our 20 pound propane tank mounted inside the, the front storage box here. Um, we chose to go with 20 pound tanks on all of our trailers. Um, that's a standard, standard feature. Um, that way they're easily, you can swap them out at pretty much any gas station. You don't have to go get them filled like the little five or 10 pounders. You have to go get them filled. Up top on this trailer, we have our Rome 95 liter box. Just gives you some extra storage. You can fit the uh, leveling jacks, different things like that in there. Standard on the XT, the ARC 750 comes standard. It's a nice jack um, that you can easily roll your trailer around even on uneven terrain. Also up front is standard is the seven pin connector. This controls all your brakes and also there's a line ran in there so it charges your trailer while you're driving off your tow vehicle. Up front also the DO35 from Cruise Master. This is an artic a fully articulating hitch. We also run it with a handbrake um, so that's really nice while you're moving your trailer around if it starts to get away from you um, you can easily use the brake and then once you have it parked um, you don't have to use wheel chocks or anything. It's just a really nice feature to have. Iceco 55 liter. This is the dual zone. I think it's the APL. Um, this fits nicely inside our, our custom front storage box. On the inside, we got a full queen size bed. Um, and we have our, got large cabinetry, full LED lighting, 
USBs, we got the Max Air Fan up on top. It's a the 10 speed reversible Max Air Fan, but also has a, a rain cover so you can have it open while it's raining so you can get ventilation. It's a full, I don't know if I said it, it's full queen size bed. So it's an actual five foot wide by 80, I mean 78 inches long. Um, and there is also storage up underneath the, the mattress as well. And the water tank and everything is built into the, underneath the mattress. Um, it's, so it's all up inside the trailer. It's inside a heated cabin. So it's an actual four season camper. You can use it in freezing temperature and not have to worry about your water system um, getting froze up. So that's a walk around of this Vega XT 2.0. Um, if you want to find us online at cedarridgecampers.com, also all the socials are at, so at Cedar Ridge Campers. And we got YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook.